evening everybody how are we on this lovely Sunday um, my name's Kelly Farley I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Karaka Auckland and tonight we're gonna make this card which doesn't really look too much like ours what else from of a normal card but when you open it it's got uh, oh, it's supposed to let's pop open my slits are a little bit too so it has this on the back so it has this sits like that it's a tower card and then has a little spring forward piece that you can write in um, but then you fold it pop the belly band back on and it fits in a standard envelope so something a little bit different from a normal gatefold card with the pop-up piece now I've obviously not cut my pieces very well because it isn't it's been sitting closed for a, a while so that is our card that we're gonna make I've used some new designer series paper well new new catalog designer series paper new to me I've only just got it um, and gone with a bit of pumpkin pie for something a little bit different um, so this is the oh, gone shopping something to market I think it's called to market yeah to market designer series paper so this is the one that I've used it's got orange dots on the back and then um, wood grain I'm just gonna get up um, my page so that I can see if anyone is there with me uh, so wood grain and then we've got some fruit, uh, vegetables and some more florals. Oh, that's another sheet of that one and that one. Hi, Andrea. Um, and then there's some bouquets of flowers. Green check. So that's the back of the flowers. And then we have tomatoes and uh, just like a green fleck. And then some cool bags, shopping bags, and a tartany check. Um, what is that? Blackberry Bliss. Um, so, and these can cut out. It goes with a, um, a suite in the catalogue, which has got um, shopping trolleys and bags and all sorts of things, um, which I haven't got, but I've got the paper, and I really quite liked that. I thought it went really nicely with um, the... Um, uh, yeah, I like the colours in it. Um, Blackberry Bliss is a favourite of mine. Pumpkin pie, orange, I don't know that orange necessarily suits me as such, but um, yeah, more of a burnt orange is, is my kind of colouring. So we're going to then branch out. So this is our card base. And I'm going to use another designer series paper pack and some in colours. Uh, so I've just got lots of bits everywhere. So I'm just going to try and keep them all uh, separate. Oops. That one goes to that one. That one goes there. And then this one goes there. That one goes there. Okay. So I'm using um, Puccini Pup. How's your weekend, Andrea, so far? We've had lovely sunny days today. It's unreal, actually. Um, so I'm using two of our new in colours, which are Petunia Pop and Summer Splash. So those two colours there. And this designer series paper is from Unbounded Beauty. So it's got some really bright colours. It also you, it has all of the new in colours. So it's got a bit of um, hmm, it's got berry burst and shaded spruce in it, but it's got petal pink. And then some of them have got the peach pie and the other colour. That summer splash, shy shamrock is the other one. So let's get started so I've just got all my bits I'm just gonna pull you're gonna need you don't need to have but um, some a couple of pieces of window sheet as well um, right 
we're going to. So this is a standard card base. Actually, I've cut it slightly smaller than a standard card base at uh, five and three quarters. Okay, and that's really just so that the measurements kind of fit a bit better than five and uh, seven eighths. I suppose it wouldn't matter really whichever way you went, but so standard A4 cut in half. So if we go in half, uh, half of 21 is 10 and a half. So we're just going to score. And then each half that you've just scored, you're going to score in half. So 10 and a half would be 5. It's basically 2 and 1 eighth, which is 5.2. 5.25, if you want to be precise. So warm. <laughs> Yeah, we had lovely weather actually. Um, Cambridge is a bit of a drive. Put up some seeds, a new garden for peas, beans and corn. Oh, sounds a very productive day. Very productive day. Okay, so you're going to have four sections. So basically it's a gatefold, but you've actually scored the back as well. Now, you can do this two ways. The video that I watched, she actually uh, scored, the measure, scored the pieces on the side and then cut them with scissors. I'm gonna use my trimmer. So it's up to you if you, um, which method you want to use. I find it just as easy to use my trimmer. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do half inch cuts. So we're gonna bring our blade over to, oh, my light's not on. Oh, nice. Well, I'm not too far from from um, Cambridge, if he's in Thai Happy. Okay, so we want... Hi, Sandra. Nice to hear from you. We'll see you on. Um, so we want the open side out, okay? So the fold is against the far side, against the straight edge of our, um, of our trimmer. And so from that score line, at one, at half an inch, we're going to score from the score line. It is half an inch, isn't it? It feels really small. Yeah, half an inch. We're going to go from the score line back to the side where the fold is. All right? And then another half an inch back to the score line. Now, I'm going to have to rotate it because I started the wrong way. So, one. So we've got half, one, one and a half. Two. I'm just making sure that it's going all the way through because when I was doing it the first time it didn't go all the way through. Uh, two and a half. Right, this is where we stop at two and a half. And we're going to skip down to three and three quarters. So that one there is a, it's kind of the middle. It's essentially not the middle because our cardstock is slightly off. But you could cut it. You could stop here. Um, so three and three quarters. Sorry, I'm just having to reorganize my stamp club for tomorrow night. Um, good. So three and three quarters, and then we're going to go half an inch, which is four and a quarter. And then half an inch is four and three quarters. And then five and a quarter. And then that will take us down to our last one. Hi Mari, thank you for joining us. It, they are lovely colours. Oh, I've done it again. What the heck? Why is it not going through two layers of cardstock? Okay. So I'm just going to run it through.
Mm. That wasn't very well lined up because I cut something else. Cut some other bits. Yeah, that one. Okay, that one there. So if you line that right through the centre of the track. You should be able to just run over that again, and I've gone too far with it. Hmm. Okay. I will just, these are new in colours, Murray, they're beautiful. This one here is my favourite, Petunia Pop. Um, I haven't used the um summer sky or shy shamrock yet so mm -hmm. or I used it the other day maybe. Um mm -mm. okay so we've got all of our pieces so you can see we've got this panel here. If you wanted to um use centimeters and then go to 14.85 and then kind of measure to get it so that this was a bit more central, then you can do that. But these are the measurements, the closest that I could get. So you're going to end up with an extra one. So I'm going to pop them out like this. You're going to get an extra one mm -hmm. at the bottom. Okay. Um... Alrighty, so like that, okay. So that is what our piece looks like. I've just realized that there's a piece missing. So, um, in order for it to stay so that it, um, when you close it, that um, we're going to use a bit of, so we're going to pop this open. Sorry, this seems a bit fiddly. Go back. So you're alternating like that. All right, I found the easiest way is to close it. Get them closed. Okay, so that one's not quite cut far enough. Sorry, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Didn't quite go to the score line on that one and on that one so I'm doing that uh, okay so one three five seven nine all right every second one we're gonna pop that I'm just gonna score those what's going on here here we go Um. All right, sorry, just had a phone call. I've just uh, muted it. So, to hold it so that it fits, I don't know if you noticed it on here, but it wasn't quite doing it. Oh, that's a bit better. Um, it just kind of mm -hmm. pops it out a bit easier. We've got a piece of window sheet. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually put a piece of cardstock there so that um, you could write on it. But the effect that you get with the wind, just having the window sheets, it helps just to keep it all together and pop it out. So on that one, I've used a piece that's almost the same width as that back panel. Um, on this one, I've actually got two pieces that are slightly smaller. Uh, so, in fact, actually they're different sizes. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to pop some... Uh, just going to pop some tape on here. Like 
sorry. How have you been, Sandra? Hope you're well. I think I remember last time you were on a bit of a holiday, so I hope that went well. You're overseas. Take these off. Hopefully I haven't put too wide piece on there. And then we'll just get a window sheet and just line it at the top here and line it at the bottom. So then that just is going to hold those pieces in place. And then we'll just put um, a few... You don't really see the tape, but if that bothers you... Oh, well, at least you got a notification. I don't know that I've even got a notification, um, Alison. So, I don't know what's up with stamp, with uh, Facebook these days and notifications. They don't aren't consistent. But welcome. Thank you for joining us. And thank you, Alison and Andrea, for posting a card. Um, I've got those stars to give away tonight right and I'm just put, now this one is slightly narrower so I'm just going to make sure I get it really centered and that was just because my um, measurements were a bit off when I was cutting it it was supposed to be centered so that's going to be like that Okay, you could pop some images on here and decorate it. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So I decided that I'm going to use two different colors and I'm going to pop these on here. And I'll put these ones on here. Okay. So, just because otherwise the um, Petunia Pop gets lost against the card. For my other card, I just had the same Blackberry Bliss, but it kind of lifted. It, had, it was able to work with both of the Designer Series papers that I chose, so uh, that's slightly off, it's not going to matter too much. <coughs> so you could have used that side too, but two different florals probably don't really work too well together. So I'm going with this stripey. Mm. Okay. So we're going to fill. Yeah, I think we have them on the inside. Oh, which ones do we think, ladies? That on the inside or that on the inside? I think I might stick with that on the inside. Just um, yeah. Hope everyone had a really nice, warm, sunny day. We actually had some washing out on the deck today. Well, because they're normally just on errors, so. And then these two are going to go on the front. So I'm just going to pop that over like that. Um, and our front door wide open and right slider open. Which is great just to kind of get a bit of uh, fresh air. Maybe could have done white behind these. Or maybe should have done it the other way around. Never mind. It's done now. So that's what we've got there, and that's what we've got there. So that actually seems to be opening a bit better than the other one. Alright, so now um, we've got three bits here. 
So I'm actually going to just layer that on top over there, just to give it a little bit of, um, maybe I'll use that side. Pop this onto here. So this is where you can write. So if you don't want this to be somewhere that you can write, you just want a decoration in the middle, you can just use one layer. I've just made it, um, it was actually a, an off cut that I had. So I've just cut it, um, I think it's about three. And then that was it's just under three that way. Do I go this way? Oh, let's keep it all similar. Okay, this one here. So then that's going to go in the middle, and then on this piece here, I'm going to stamp. Oh, hang on. Which one goes in there? Not that one. This one. So this is where you can write your little message. So these panels are just um, a quarter inch high mooring. Um, actually, I think they're like a eighth of an inch difference, maybe a quarter, just to give a bit of layering. And then I'm going to use the Sketched Butterflies, which is quite a nice set. Um, I did the big one, but I think I might do this one. And happy birthday, I think. So that'll fit that way. So we might keep it straight. Um, <coughs> my stamp needs a wash. Okay, let's do a summer splash butterfly. And I'll pop this here. Oh, that's pretty. That is a pretty colour. And do I? Let's use this one for the sentiment. And we'll see how much room we've got. Oh, I should have. Do you know what? I'm going to swap it over. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go, Happy birthday. This is going on the belly band. Um, so, and then I'll put, let's celebrate. I just cleaned my, not that you can tell, but. You can tell when you run them under the water. Then I just cleaned my um, chamois. So it's nice and clean. say this set has had quite a bit of use this simply said it's quite a good one I do have to say no way. let's give this a go again This is going to go onto here. I'm going to put it on there like that. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to use 
I'm going to pop. No, I'm going to do this first. So I've just realised that I need a piece of card for that, which I didn't get out. So for the pop-up piece, you just need a piece of card to create a little... So I'm going to go three quarters of an inch by three. And you're going to go half, score, three quarters, score, and flip. Half, and three quarters. Mm -mm. Alright. So, then you're going to do, uh, from the centre out, you're going to do mountain and then valley. Oh, I've done it again. Mountain and then valley. Nope, that isn't going to work. Three quarters of an inch by three. And it's half and half. Is it half? One here. Half and then one. Rotate half an inch and then one inch. Okay, so then you end up with this. So from the center out, you're going to go mountain, so it's folding down, and then valley, which is folding up, and do the same on the other side. So you end up with this little tab thing. Okay. So you've got that like U upside down U shape. All right, you're gonna have it popped in together. Oh man, I feel like I'm getting sick now. Okay, so you've got this piece. You're gonna put glue on these two tabs there. All right, and it's gonna fit on this panel here. So. I'm going to put glue there and there. Okay, there. And now where the, where the two pieces meet, that part of it is going to go on the score line. So you're just going to try and center it as much as you can. Because you can't really see it. But it's just going to hold there. So when you lift it you can see that there's this little thing popping up I didn't give it long enough to hold on to it's popped up on one side but I'm just going to get rid of that glue it's seeped out because you know put too much glue on all right now I've got too much glue on there it's sticking so that is when your piece pops out that is going to mean that this sticks out. All right. So we're going to pop our card on here. And again, we're going to center it, eyeball it and center it as much as possible. I'm going to put some glue in the middle here. Remember, our Tombow glue is really quite uh, strong. So we just make sure that that's going to open up the right way. And then just check your... Yep, about there. So it's going to go, my one's going to go halfway through the second one from the center. So it's slightly taller than the center. Okay, I'm just going to hold that in place. I'll close that for a minute. I can then go. Yes. Oh, the teddy bear. Okay, and then we're just going to, our belly band, we're just going to pop, wrap around. So I actually want to trim my belly band so that it sits just, oh, if I put that on there like that, oh no, 
that's not going to matter then. So if I put glue here, and I'm going to close it. Remember, we don't want it to be too tight, but we don't want it to be too loose. That's why we don't score it, because it depends on how it sits when you put it on there. Alright, and then we're just going to set it down here. And then we can decorate it. It's not quite square, but that's okay. So I'm just going to put some glue across the middle here to hold that in place. Center as much as possible. There. And then I'm going to pop that on the diagonal. So I want some dimensionals. Okay, so let's go there. A little bit over time, sorry ladies. Thanks for sticking with me to get it finished. Okay. We will as much as we can by pulling this so that it's centre on the diamond. We're gonna pop that on there. And that is the end of our card. That is our finished card, not the end of it, the finished card. So then you've got a nice belly band that just slides up. You could have decorated inside if you wanted to. Whoops. Um, I did think about cutting strips to go on here, but um, I didn't have time. So I haven't messed about with it. But that is your card. Then you've got a little space in here for your message. And it fits nicely. <laughs> it fits nicely in here um, in a in a belly band in your belly band in a standard envelope so it doesn't take up a huge amount of space uh, right. mm -hmm. and then this is our second one so remembering that um, the clear piece on the back is optional thank you Alison um, the clear piece on the back is optional, but um, if you didn't, if you still wanted a panel there, but didn't have acetate or don't want to use the window, mm -hmm. the window sheets. Excuse me. Um, you could, um, you could use put two white panels and just kind of glue in between each one, um, and then you could use that as your space to write and then just have a pop-up decoration in the middle. Um, options are endless. Um, it's also a great way to, because we all know we've got lots of uh, designer series paper, great way to use up lots of designer series paper, especially if you, um, if you wanted to decorate the inside of it. You could also stamp in the middle. I would do that before you cut because um, it just makes it a bit easier. So if you've got coordinating stamps or whatever, then um, you could definitely stamp and decorate the inside of your card. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much again for joining me. I hope that you all have a lovely week um, and that the sun comes out a little bit more than what we've just had it. Um, you know, every little bit makes us feel better doesn't it um i will pop a post up with these cards if you have a go at making them please do pop it on my page we'd love to see it um allison and andrea um are um <laughs> um the um well, same two people as last week. Uh, Andrea was very generous and gave this 
the uh, gold stars to um, Alison but these are what we're spinning for today and so let's see who's going to get them Alison again congratulations Alison um, next week if you do one of these cards I have what have I got here I have a pack oh I thought I had more I have a pack of stencils. Oh, actually, no, I've got something there. Ah, dropping stuff all over the place. I have, I'm going to do stencils in another week. Um, I have a set, a stamp set. Um, I have um, this stamp set here, which is just a little one, and it's out of a kit, but it's got some cityscapes and some nice clouds, which give you nice texture, but it'll give you, um, yeah, so that's it there. So that will be, if you have a go at making the card. If you don't want it, then that's okay. I can find you some stars or some, or you, you know what, you can choose stencils which is butterflies and flowers or or the stamp set with the buildings and the sky on it um, but Alison I'll pop these aside for you both of them uh, thank you very much ladies for joining us um, joining me tonight I appreciate your time I'm not going to hold you up much longer but thank you very much for um, Popping on, Alison and Andrea, thank you very much for creating a card and sharing it with us. Um, I look forward to seeing what you guys all create. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.